Here are the 11 dramas that failed in South Korea. Number 11 Nevertheless Directed by Kim ga Ram, Nevertheless was the 2021 TV show that was really hyped before its release for having Song Kang and Han So Hee playing the leads. The show follows the complicated love story of Yoon Abi, Han So Hee, the girl who loses trust in love, and Park Jae In, Song Kang, a flirt not looking for anything serious. Even though Nevertheless had a lot of international audiences enjoying the show, and found the storyline endearing, it did not do too well in South Korea. This show received an overall rating of 2.2%. This was because fans lost the excitement of the show because of the plot. Additionally, the show also had a 19 plus rating for adult content according to cultural restraints, bringing its ratings down further. 10. Tempted 2018 directed by Lee Dong-hoon, Tempted is loosely based on a French novel. The show tells the story of three friends, one of whom gets dared to make an innocent girl fall in love with him. However, things change quickly when they fall in love, and the turmoil begins. This dramatic love story stars Red Velvet's Joy, Wudu Wang, Man Kyung, and Kim Min Jae. Though the storyline was based on the French novel that many people were noticeably big fans of, the show still could not do well in South Korea. The main reason for this was the very typical plot. Fans in South Korea pointed out that the show lacked depth in the plot. It just seemed like spoiled rich kids were taking the world for granted. Moreover, Joy's acting in the show was heavily criticized even though international fans considered it to be top-notch. 9. It's okay to not be okay, 2020 It's okay to not be okay became popular globally immediately during the show's airing in 2020. The poignant, emotional, vulnerable and unique storyline touched the hearts of every K-drama fan all over the world with 8.6 IMDb ratings. The series centered around Kim Soo Hyun playing Moon Gang Tae, a children's book author, and Seo Ye Ji as Ko Moon Young, a psychiatric hospital employee and admittedly one of the strongest K-drama leads ever, and their individual struggles of trying to escape repetitive cycles, of struggles and growing from them enough to pursue the life they really want for themselves. What really stole the spotlight in this refreshing story, was how they helped each other to help themselves and, of course, their almost tangible chemistry that made their dynamic in the series so convincing. However, in South Korea, the series garnered abysmally low ratings with episode 10 hitting a shocking 4.2. The main complaint seemed to be Kim Soo Hyun's acting which seemed forced, according to several fans in there. 8. The King, Eternal Monarch, 2020 directed by Yoon ji Hyun, The King, Eternal Monarch took over Netflix for the longest time with great viewership. The show includes Lee min as Lee Gon and Kim go Un as Jong tae Oil. It is a love story based in two parallel worlds, and a lot of complications. This drama initially got off to a good start with high ratings because of the effective teasers and the beautiful cast. However, they slowly started to diminish as the series progressed because of being extremely slow-paced. Domestic viewers also did not appreciate the confusion in the plot with the parallel worlds and could not make sense out of the ending. They also had issues with Kim go Un being the right fit to play the role of Jong tae Oil. 7. Harun, 2016 written by Park Eun Young, Harun was the most hyped show up to date with its star-studded flower boy cast. It included Park Hyun sik Park Seo Joon, Go Ae Ra, Chinese Minyo, and BTS V set in a traditional time, this show depicted the story of beautiful men training to guard the hidden king. Though this perfect cast and light-hearted nature of the show guaranteed major views from international fans of all these famous actors, it was different in South Korea. It only ended up with a viewership rating of 7.2% because the visuals did not match up with the hype. The dramatics of the show were overly pulled off, and the sudden twists and use of background music did not sit well with local viewers. Welcome to Waikiki Welcome to Waikiki was one of the banners of 2018 K-dramas with a whopping 8.2 IMDb rating. An engaging plot, 
centered around Li Yikang as Li Junqi, Kim Jung Hyun as Kang Dong Gu, and Kim Son Ho as Cha Woo Sik, and their voucher financing their movie project all by themselves, by partnering in a guest house business made for a humorous and entertaining watch with amazing performances from the cast. The South Korean fans, however, did not quite think so as the show was rated 1.7 making it one of the lowest rankings for a K-drama ever. Thankfully even though the fans there had issues with the show's plot and content, which are evident by the low ratings, for international fans though, the drama remains one of the favorites to date due to its amazing execution of blending a feel-good story with a silly sitcom plot. 5. Moon Lovers, Scarlet Heart Ryo, 2016 Universal International Television This long-standing favorite of many, is the least expected to be on this list, but unfortunately, it is. Directed by Kim Q Tae, the show follows Hei Su, Ayu, who goes back in time and gets tangled in love and politics of the traditional era. This show is another example of the unpredictability of ratings, even with an exceptional cast including Lee Jun Ki, Ayu, Bakyun, and Kang Han Oh. Scarlet Harpers become a guilty pleasure for fans from all over the world. People desperately wanted a second season, though that seems impossible because of the low ratings nationally. Viewership ratings fluctuated between 11% and 5%. Though it seems unjust, based on the lack of good cinematic and having a heart-wrenching plot, international fans would always jump in to defend the show. 4. True Beauty, 2020 directed by Kim Sang-hyup, True Beauty, is a famous show starring Man Kar Young, Cha Eun Wu, and Huang in York. It follows the story of In Ju Kim, Man Kyung, who goes through a transformation through makeup to fit into her new school. This fun, school life, warm-hearted drama is exceedingly popular with international fans. The show also boosted Huang in York in the eyes of people, stimulating his career because of his performance. However, viewers in South Korea were not entirely fond of the show. It received an average rating of 4% as it did not really bring out a new idea in its plot. It got predictable in the end, and fans were also not happy with Huang in York's major second lead syndrome. 3. Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju Lee Sung Kyung as Kim Bok Ju TV Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju has become one of the cult classics of K-dramas in the few years ever since its release. A massive 8.5 IMDb rating and overwhelming love for this cute and humorous series made all the more entertaining with amazing performances from Nam Ju Hyuk as Yoon Joon Hyun and Lee Sung Kyung as Kim Bok Ju. The uniquely heartwarming story of weightlifter Kim Bok Ju getting infatuated with the fitness doctor and trying to change her appearance and her childhood friend and swimmer Yoon Joon Hyun helping her to pursue her dreams won hearts everywhere. That is everywhere except South Korea, as many fans found it unrealistic, which garnered the series its 4.9 domestic rating. International fans, though, seem to cherish the series, even now as much as they did during its airing, hailing it as one of the most perfect endings in K-drama history ever. 2. Doom at Your Service Woman and man hold hands over coffee table in Doom at Your Service TVN. One of 2021 most highly anticipated series was Doom at Your Service. Following Tak Dong Kyun, a woman who struggles with the death of her parents and the intense pressure of her work as a novel editor. After being diagnosed with an illness, she finds herself wishing for everything in her life to disappear. Her request is met with by Doom, a not totally human man, who arrives to help Dong Kyun. With major stars in the cast, including Park Bo Young and Seo In Guk, everyone thought it was going to be a hit. But from the get-go ratings were low, at 4% and dropped off from there. At home, the plot failed to keep audiences interested, while abroad, viewers fell in love with the dynamic of the two protagonists and their insatiable chemistry. 1. Extraordinary You a rich high school kid with a heart condition that ensures she will not make it past her teenage years discovers that her life is actually just a supporting character in a web manga. Frustrated, 
Und da all sets out to write her own story in the book as well as find true love. Folks abroad loved the series for its zany plot and romance, while viewers in Korea weren't too impressed. Extraordinary you still pop up the career of actor Rome, but its viewership rating stayed below 5% for the entire series run.